Breaking news. See what is going on with Sunday Boho right in Benin Republic. Sunday Boho is in need of urgent medical care. Yoruba agitator aid appealed to Benin Republic president to please allow for this. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware that Sunday Boho's house was broken into by Nigerian talks, you call them SSS, on the 1st of July. And since then, on the 19th, it was about to travel to Germany when Nigerian government has already set machineries in place in case it travels through that route and it was apprehended in a Cotonou airport. Uh, uh, since then, they've had just one or two court cases and the matter has just been lying, lying there. Nobody's saying anything with regards to you know, when Sunday Boho will be freed or anything. Everybody's just quiet. Nobody's saying anything. And it's very sad. Really, truly very sad, you see. So these are some of the things ongoing and the Nigerians are just watching. As it is now, Sunday Boho is not a very young man. What I mean by that is not at least in his 20s or 30s. He's in his late 40s. You know, he's in his late 40s. And this guy is in urgent need of medical attention. You know, somebody who is not used to that kind of lifestyle, who can be used to prison. You know, they said they will investigate and look at the matter. It's just a delay tactic to keep him there. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Chief Sunday Adeyemo had been held in Bene Republic since 20th of July 2021. And now his health has been affected badly. Detained Yoruba Nation Agitator Sunday Adeyemo, a.k.a. Sunday Igboho, is in need of urgent medical attention, his spokesman has said. Olayomi Koiki, spokesman for Sunday Igboho, who is being detained in Benin Republic on Tuesday, said the sectionist leader needs urgent medical attention. A statement by Koiki titled, On behalf of Chief Sunday Igboho, a.k.a. Adeyemo, known and called by us as Igboho, calls on the government of Benin Republic to grant Sunday Igboho permission to receive urgent medical attention. The statement reads, after speaking with his legal representative, I would like to confirm that his health needs medical attention and we are using this medium to plead with the government of Benin Republic. President Patrick Tellon, to please allow Sib Sunday Igboho to seek medical attention due to his deteriorating and failing health situation. He needs urgent medical attention and giving him this would help him with his health problem. We know you are a, we know you are a just man and one who wants progress for his country. We have seen all the wonderful things you have done to bring good changes to your country. Please, President Talon, we need your intervention to enable his quick release because his health needs urgent attention. And we know that this would be granted to him because we don't want anything to happen to him while in custody in your country. Chief Sunday Adeyemo has been in Benin Republic since 20th of July 2021 and now his health is badly affected. Also, would like to use this medium to appreciate his lawyers and everyone that has stood by him during this time with difficult, this very difficult time. Igwe was arrested alongside his wife in Cotonou, Benin Republic, by security operative in a West African country on the 19th of July after fleeing Nigeria arrest by security service people seeking after him. Chief Sunday Igbo's health is failing. Uh, this is really sad. Yeah, because um, Chief Sunday Boho need not to have been in this, if you get me right, it doesn't have to be in this problem or situation at all. It does not have to be there. But a kind-hearted man who sincerely wants freedom for his people, this is what has brought him to where he is today. He stood out for the people. He came out and said, no, it's not acceptable. You cannot do this, 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 this to the people. And for that reason... He is where he is today. If he had just stayed on his own, he does not mind anybody. Does I mean, he just hears the things that are, everybody's hearing. 
and cannot be bothered, goes about his business, nothing will happen to him. But because he genuinely cares for people, and this is why we cannot leave Sunday Igboho alone. This is why nobody should say he got what he deserved. You'll be a wicked person to say that. All Chief Sunday Igboho was after is that the Fulanis do not come into people's land and begin to kill them. Is that people are able to go about their business and their duty. You cannot welcome a stranger and a stranger now takes over your home and you now become a fugitive in your own home. This is what has Sunday Igboho has been turned into. This is what Chief Sunday Igboho has been turned into. He's in prison now. Everybody pretending like nothing is happening or nothing is done. Everybody's quiet. All because he said, the Fulani hates men. You, if you cannot stay at peace with the people, please leave. And this is the crime he has committed. This is the worst crime of the century. And everybody is silent. How do we really solve out and really, you know, look into this? This is why he's in Benin Republic. Not because he stole. Not because it's like the Fulani headsmen who are killing people. He did no such thing. Everybody is silent. Uh, our very own brother is looking after his health. Cannot be bothered with what's going on with Sunday Boho. Talking about, I mean, in fact, he's going on his campaign trail. Yeah, we're talking about the Tinubu. He's the one who started this whole thing when he came out to say he does not believe in Yoruba nation agitation. That's what he said. Of course, we respect his perspective. Everybody must not believe in it. But you don't come out to say that kind of statement and you know who you represent and what you are in the society. Today, look at the way things are. Look at exactly what is going on. These are part of the things that are destroying the nation and the society. When some people, you know, Take, take themselves and want to replace, you know, want to take the place of God. These are some of the things that happen. Nigerians, it's a wake-up call. Please, let's continue to sincerely pray for Chief Sunday Boho. You know, whatever you can do in your little corner, let's do. You may not be able to do much, but trust me, you can pray about it. Because we don't know how to go about this whole thing. His health is failing. His health is failing, you know. Uh, it's, it, it's a sad one to hear this morning, you know. Whatever you can do, please do. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.